Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to this video on rich data types. Rich data types are one of these awesome new features that was introduced in Excel in 2019. It's available in Office 365 version. And what rich data types will do is they will allow you to, it uses AI to allow you recognize data types that have data stored on the web this allows you to stay up to date with the latest data by just pressing refresh as it builds a connection between your data and live data on the web. Now, before we get stuck into this video, if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit the blog post that goes along with this video because there's a learn and earn activity available in that blog post. Don't forget the Excel Club is the only blog in the world where you can learn Excel and earn rewards for doing so. So let's take a look at some sample data. I've set up some stock currency pairs, cryptocurrency and geography. And we're going to work through these and have a look at some different examples and what it is that you can do with these rich data types. So first of all, I have some names of some companies in here. And if I click on the stock item, they're just text fields. And if I click on the stock item, Excel will go through Bing and will search the internet and pull back relevant information. Now the data type then changes from a normal static data field to this interactive rich data type. And you can recognize it by this little building we have here beside. Now, if you click on this little building, you can show the card. Now, showing the card is showing all the fields that are available for that particular rich data type. So for the Microsoft Corporation, what we have is the real time price. We have the exchange, the official name. We've got loads of other data fields such as the percentage change on previous close, the previous highs and lows, 52 weeks, all these different fields. And by using these different fields, we can add these quite quickly into our spreadsheet. Now, if you click, if you select all of the fields that are together, you can add in the field by all of the fields together by just selecting on one of them. So you see there that we have added in different fields. Let's select and let's add in a, another field and let's have a look at how this actually works. So let's add in our currency as our currency field. Now, if we go up into the cell where it's placed in our currency, we can see that we have a formula and our formula is equals A4 and then currency. You can enter this formula yourself. So if we equals a cell that is a rich data type cell and it'll reach into that and it'll show you all the values that are available for you to pull back. So, for example, if we take our high price, it's going to pull back the high price for that particular item. So we can use formulas to return the data or equally, we can use the cards to return the data that we need to be returned and to expand the data in our tables. Now, the rich data types as well, Excel is quite intuitive. So if we were to put in a, another company, for example, if we put in Google, it goes and it searches. If it doesn't return the correct one that you're looking for, you can go and you can change. This will open up Bing, a field in Bing, a data selector. And in the data selector, we can type in what we're looking for and it will go down through and it'll pull back all of the details relating to the particular company that you're looking for. So let's say we were looking for Netflix. And we can see that we have Netflix stock on the NASDAQ and we can pull that back and it returns it into a rich data type. The rich data types also recognizes some currency pairs. Now it doesn't recognize all currency pairs, but it does recognize some. 
So if we go to our data ribbon and we select stocks, it's going to search back and it's going to look for the actual currency pairs. Now it's found US dollar to GBP, it's found US dollar to Euro, but it hasn't found GBP to Euro. Now if we just change our search quickly, we can see it, can, it will find it and we can pull in our price if we want to pull in our price or any other details that we want to pull in. By selecting one, you can see the field and insert data for just one. But if we select all of them, we can insert the data for all of these by just selecting the item once. Now, in addition to currency pairs, it's also recognizing some cryptocurrencies. It's not recognizing all cryptocurrencies, but it is recognizing some. If we click again on the cards, we can see what is available. So this is the FX spot rate. It gives us the price the last time, the ticker symbol, the change and different details about the actual item. Now, by clicking on the item in the card, it brings it into the field. And we can drag that down because we had only selected it for the one particular item. Again, don't forget, we can use these formulas, equals, and reference across to the rich data type. The rich data types also recognizes geography, different geography types. So we have in here, we have some counties. Now, I have this set up as table. Because when you are working with rich data types, using table adds additional functionalities. So we have some counties here and I'm going to highlight this table and I'm going to go to geography and I'm going to convert these into a rich data type. So it's going through and it's asking me to select because it's unsure which. So I'm going to select Dublin and Ireland. I'm going to select Cork in Ireland and I'm also going to select Kerry in Ireland. Now from here, I'm going to add the population. Now when we add the population, we see a column header has been added. Unlike these other fields above when we added in without it being in table format. So we can quickly add fields, including the column headers by having the data then in stored in a table format. So that is rich data types in Excel and they're really, really great nifty feature that creates a connection to data on the web and it allows you to stay up to date with the latest data just by pressing refresh. So all you have to do to refresh your data at any stage is select refresh all from your data ribbon. It'll reach online and it'll connect and return the updated values for you. The spreadsheet's not laid out very well, but then what you can do is go ahead and start creating cards and dashboards using this live information. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hop over to the blog post. You'll find a link below the video and take part in the learn and earn activity and earn some rewards for practicing what you learned in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye now.